Hello and welcome to the third video in my scripting series. Now, in the previous video uh, or videos, we learned how to use properties and reference uh, objects in Roblox uh, games. Uh, but today we're going to be putting that to use and I'll be showing you how to create uh, a dice game. Okay, so we've got two uh, dice here or die uh, and we have numbered them and we're going to use a script so that when we run the game uh, we can roll the dice and uh, then produce a result. So let's get started. Okay, so don't worry about anything in the output here. Just going to clear that uh, and let's get rid of uh, what we currently have. So we're going to want to have two parts in the game uh, for our die. So we're going to click on the part button and this is generated a part. So we now need to change the properties of this part to make it look like a, a dice. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is obviously uh, make it bigger. So we're going to go to the size property and because size is made up of three numbers, it's called a vector three value. OK, uh, and a vector three is basically three numbers uh, and each number represents an axis. OK, so the X axis, the Z axis and the Y axis. OK, uh, the you can see here on the move tool, the red uh, line is the X axis or the red arrows. The blue uh, arrows are the Z, uh, Z axis and the green is the y-axis which is going up and down uh, and as you move the part you can see they also change on the position property so we're just going to change this to 20 studs by 20 studs by uh, 20 studs and that's going to make the part nice and big you can see the x y and z uh, values are now 20 uh, and uh, the part is stuck in the ground so we're just going to uh, drag that above ground here so this is what the uh, this is how the die will be shaped uh, we now are going to just make it, uh, we're going to change the colour for it to be completely white, like this, we'll go institutional white, and I'll set the material to smooth plastic, okay, now we are going to uh, make the brick anchored for now, so that it stays in the air, and when we when we are going to roll it, we can unanchor it, okay, so now that we have uh, got the the part we need to add some numbers on the uh, on the on the faces of, of the die so we're going to enter the toolbox and you should see this pop up uh, and we're going to click on the little tab here where it says models and I'm going to click on images okay and this will allow us to search the Roblox library and we can take an image that someone else has made now if you've got an image that you made yourself that you want to use you can click on inventory and go from there so we've clicked on images and we're just going to search for dice and then the number that we want, so one. And then we're just going to click on it uh, on the image, and then we can select the part that we want this this image to go on to. So we just click it, and that creates a decal. All right. So uh, inside of the part, you can see there is now a decal object, which basically just uh, shows the uh, the image. So the texture here is is the ID of that image. Uh, so a decal can be applied to a part to show an image. And so we're going to do the same thing again for dice 2 and just click on the part again on each face, dice 3, we're going to click and click on the next face and we're going to do this for all of the, whoops, I'm going to do this for all of the different faces, so dice 4 and dice 5 and now we need to do the bottom face, so I'm just going to click the part and uh, just turn it over by pressing control T a couple of times until we get the right face and we can put dice one on here okay you can also rotate the part using the rotate tool so now we've got all of the numbers on our die uh, we're gonna actually have a second one so what we can do is we can clone this part so to clone it what we're gonna do is just right click and click on duplicate or you can press control and D or command D if you're on a Mac so now that we've duplicated it um, you can't see the clone because it's in the exact same position as the of the, of the other clone. Uh, so we can just move it away and we now have two die. But as I said in the previous video about uh, names of parts, they both have the same name, part. So we need to name each one dice one and dice two like this. Okay, so now we've got our two dice and we can put them in the air like this. Now, just to make it a little bit more random, what we're going to do is we're going to move one die underneath the other. 
so that when they both come down, uh, the top one is going to bounce off the second one, okay? And we'll also just rotate them a little bit so that they uh, they bounce around uh, a bit before they hit the ground, which just makes it uh, feel more random as well. So now that we've got our two die, we can start scripting because they're both anchored. If we run the game, nothing currently happens. So we need to tell a script what we want uh, to happen with, with these dies. Okay, so uh, we're going to insert a script into the server script service. And, oops, I did a module script. We just need a normal script. So click on script. And then we're going to simply uh, reference our die. Uh, so game.workspace.dice1. We'll do dice1 first. Dot anchored. Okay, we're finding the property. Remember in the last video, we learned how to reference the dice. So the dice is inside of the workspace. And it's got a property called anchored. And anchored is... Uh, it determines whether the part just stays in the air or whether it falls to the ground uh, And we're going to set anchor to false because we want it to fall. We want gravity to push it down Okay, so this is going to basically roll the first die uh, We want to we want to wait for a small number of time a small bit of time until we roll the second die Okay, and this will allow the first die to fall before the second so that it, it bounces off off this die here Okay, so this is oh that's die two. Let's just move that down down there. So we want die dice one to fall first. Hit dice two, which will make it a little bit more random, and then uh, dice two will fall as well after that. So we're going to have to do a wait. Now wait just delays the script. Okay. So if we added a wait here, so we do wait, and then we do a, a, a pair of brackets or parentheses, um, and then if you put a number inside of here, so one, that's going to delay the script from doing anything else. So if I had another line of code, game.workspace.dice2, that anchored equals false, which is going to roll the second die. Okay, this is a comment, by the way. So the script does it, the script just ignores it, and it's, it helps you understand. You can write notes so you, so you know what each line does. So this is going to roll the first die, and it's basically going to, this, this die is going to fall. But then we're going to wait one second, and then after that uh, delay, we're going to unanchor the second dice. So the script is going to pause before it executes the next line. Okay, because you know that the script uh, executes line by line. If we have a wait, it's just going to stop right here, wait the amount, the, the, the specified amount of time inside of the brackets. So in this case, one second. And after that one second, it's going to unanchor the second dice. Okay, I'm going to change this to half a second, so 0.5. And now if we go and try this out, you can see the first dice, uh, is, let's see if we can change the weight here to one second, so you can notice uh, the, uh, the change. So the first dice hits dice two, and then the second dice falls as well. So you see that, that um, they don't both fall at the same time, the dice two uh, uh, falls a second after the first. So we have just created a nice little dice game there uh, but to make it a little bit more interesting uh, we can change the gravity property of the workspace now I'm if you go into um, the workspace and have the properties window open I touched on this uh, in a previous video uh, the gravity prop property I use it as an example but if you don't know what gravity is it's basically a force uh, which pushes down uh, on objects uh, that are in the game or say for example these dice in the air if gravity is uh, is is higher the higher gravity is um, so, so the bigger the number is then the higher the force which is going to push down on these bricks and so uh, when gravity is higher uh, the bricks are going to fall much quicker so if I change gravity to 500 196.2 is the default if I change it to 500 you can see they fall a lot quicker and it looks more like uh, a pair of dice. So I'm going to change the weight back to 0.5. I'm also going to move up this die a little bit. And let's try this out again. So they both fall to the ground. And there we go. We rolled a 4. So we've just created a cool little dice game uh, using what we learnt. So hopefully that taught you something and it shows how... Uh, you can put uh, the things we learned to use. It's still very, very basic, uh, but trust me, we'll do more of these cool projects and they'll get cooler as we go along. So just stick with it. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So if you want to go to the next video, I'll put a thumbnail to it on your screen now. If you want to subscribe to the channel so you get notified of when I post a new video, then uh, click the uh, Alvin Blocks logo on the screen as well. There'll be an arrow pointing to it. And uh, don't forget to take the quiz. There'll be a quiz on what we've learned so far on my website. I'll leave a link to it in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.